In this problem, we have two points on a line, and here A, B, and C all represent uh, positive numbers. And we have to find the slope, and we have to determine if the line rises, falls, is horizontal, or is vertical. Let's start by writing down the formula for the slope. So the formula for the slope, we usually denote the slope by the letter M. And in the numerator, you just subtract the y's. So it's y2 minus y1. Then you divide, and then you subtract the x's. So x2 minus x1. Let's go ahead and label things. So this piece here, this is our x1, and this will be our y1. This will be our x2, and this piece here is our y2. All right, so let's do this very carefully. So m is equal to, let's see, it's y2 minus y1. So y2, which is a plus c, minus y1, which is c. All right, so a plus c minus c, a plus c minus c, a plus c minus c. Looks good. Then it's x2 minus x1. So x2 is a minus x1. We have to be careful here. You see we're subtracting, and this is two things. So this is really in parentheses. So it's a minus b in parentheses. Be really careful, okay? So it's a minus a minus b. A minus a minus b. But the a minus b is in parentheses. All right, this is equal to, let's see what happens here. These go away. So we get a over, here we can distribute. There's a negative 1 here. So this will be a minus a. And then when you distribute the negative, it's going to change the sign on the b. So it'll become a plus b. So this is just going to be a over a minus a is 0. So you get 0 plus b. So it's just a over b. So that's our slope. a is positive and so is b. So when you divide them, you get a positive number. So we have a positive slope. So the line rises. Positive slope, line rises. Negative slope, line falls. Slope of 0, the line is horizontal. And an undefined slope would give us a vertical line. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.